Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am Fernando Boy, and this is Shovel Knight. Uh, instead of doing all this introductory info at the, at the title screen, I'll just make a new game right now. And uh, tell you all about it. Ah yes, I have completed this game before. Uh, it took me seven and a half hours. A bit lengthy, but uh, you know. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I'm bad at video games. Let's see if Fanarna will fit here. Hey, it does. Can I fit Boy in there? Nope. Alright. And we're starting. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. And we're going right into the first level. Alright, so this is Shovel Knight. It's a retro platformer that attempts to replicate the magic and... Well, the general gameplay and art style of... NES era games, which many find to be appealing, me included. Uh, it started as a Kickstarter, uh, which reached its goals quite easily, and it was released in 2015, 2015, sorry, 2014 for PC, 3DS, and Wii U in uh, June 2014. It was later ported to the PS3, the PS4, the Vita and the Xbox One in 2015, around March and April. It was developed by a small indie studio named Yacht Club Games, and uh, this is their only game. As you can see by its uh, its gameplay mechanics and art style, it's heavily influenced by Castlevania, uh, early Zelda, Super Mario Brothers, and Mega Man. And they, and by themselves, are the most influential series in gaming today. Oh, crap. I believe this game is also uh, for Mac and Linux as well. On Steam. Uh, currently, it costs uh, $20, and the soundtrack, if I remember correctly, is also $20, or it might be $15. To be honest, I didn't really care how much the game was because it looked so appealing. I am playing with a uh, DualShock 4 controller right now, using the D-pad for mu movement. Because, you know, NES. Crap. Shovel Knight has his uh, normal attack, he has a downward attack, which can be executed by jumping and pressing down on the Z-pad. He can also damage enemies. There are secret areas, which I assume are um, influenced by Castlevania and the like. I just picked up a music sheet, which can be turned into the bard in uh, the village for money and the ability to hear in-game sound or er, soundtrack. The music was composed by an in individual named Jake Kaufman with the assistance of um, the composer for the original Mega Man. Uh, 
Manami, I forgot her last name. Very influential composer though. Once again, you will probably see me die a lot as I am terrible at video games. I don't know how I played them for 14 years of my life and I'm still bad at them. Ah! That's a guy. Thankfully, the uh, birds on this level are more of a platforming tool than an actual enemy. Birds later on become a bit of a pain in the ass. Clever uh, platforming bits like this to unlock secrets are just a joy. You don't see that a lot in uh, in modern games. Oh god. You will also notice that um, there are no lives. It's just you can die as many times as you want, but you will lose money for it. And it has a very uh, interesting way of handling that. Because if you uh, if you die, your money will be tossed into three sacks, and in order to get that back, you have to collect the sacks. Oh, there's a chest back there. Hang on. Just go over here, climb this. Thankfully, there is a way to identify which uh, areas are. Uh, accessible and which are not because the land often has a, a pattern that's mismatched with the others oh look at that skill right there very rare display of skill <laughs> this is uh, this is shovel knight's crouch just that <laughs> it's pretty adorable This, uh, this mini-boss isn't really a, much of a mini-boss, to be honest. It's mostly an obstacle. Uh, this part is... tricky. Okay. This section here teaches you uh, how to cancel a bounce mid-air, just by hitting the attack button. At least, I think that's what it's trying to teach me. Where's the- okay, I got both of them. Awesome. Is there a third one? I thought there was a third one. I think I got them all. That would be surprising. Secret area to the- oh god. Don't mind me, you, you didn't see that. That wasn't captured on recording. Secret area to the left. Very precarious platforming here. Requires real precision. There are achievements to beat the game without dying and uh, beat the game like in a speed run time, like an hour and a half. I'm not gonna go for any of those in this playthrough, I'm just gonna have fun. These uh, checkpoints, they have wings over them so you can't break them, but regular checkpoints you can break and you get a lot of money from them, but uh, obviously if you break a checkpoint you can't return to it if you die. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Intandress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. First boss fight. I tell you, I've, I did three test runs, just to see like what the recording would be like. I still struggle against this boss. Oh my lord. Okay. All right. I keep wanting to down thrust him, but obviously he has movement to counteract that. Okay. I might actually die here. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being bad. Okay. Alright. Alright. You can actually reflect those purple projectiles at him, and it will do damage. Maybe I'll, I'll finish him off with that. Oh, crap. I'm actually gonna die. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean about the uh, the money sacks. You can recover your gold if you die. Which I think is pretty fair. And another uh, great implementation is that if you die in a boss fight, it won't replay the dialogue. It'll just stick you right back in. Oh! Tried to reflect that, didn't work. Alright. Need to learn to... Oh my god. Oh, cheesing, cheesing. Alright, I promise to finish him off with the reflection, I'm gonna do it. Yeah? Boom, dead. Got him. Haha, -ha, I got an achievement. I thought I did that before. No, I guess I didn't. <laughs> and he just straight up runs away. This is a cool minigame. Oh! Got her. It's also a nice uh, exposition after the level. There's an achievement for doing this called Only You. I, I don't know if it's referencing anything because, well, the only games I own for the NES are Super Mario Bros. 1, 3, and Tetris. But, uh, yeah, digging this campfire uh, gets you an achievement. And more of the map is revealed. Uh, first, we should head to the village because I have things to drop off. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up on the D-pad to talk to everyone. Cause no trouble, warrior. Yeah, this village is filled with many- oh my god. I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of health. I've gotta get a meal ticket. Pick up blue jars to restore your magic power. Head to the juice bar for fresh squ squoes? Squo okay. Juice. Morning, noon, or night. I like what they did with the uh, the text. They made a move and jiggle to indicate tone. This guy's the bard. Hail traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire last lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you. Handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the rifle! Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should have studied composition. But then I suppose I'd be the one with the rifle. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time. Just ask. I'm perfectly content with the village music right now. This woman's smile creeps me out. Oh, you got a pretty face. You should come visit often. I mean, it's it's hard to see your face when you got a helmet on, but whatever. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? So yeah, meal tickets, uh, you can give them to the big muscular guy here to get health upgrades. And I, if I remember correctly, this lady, um, yeah, increases your magic. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, okay. I never bothered to upgrade my magic because I was so focused on health and I didn't want to die as often. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon the mess. There's uh, a bit of rhyming. It's uh, not as frequent as Child of Light, but it's, it's there, definitely. 
go down here, this is the basement. Uh, there's four individuals here. Ah, new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome in here. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, woe is me. The king of nothing. Not to rule but my lone bar stool. King sits on Pride's, Pride Moor's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Double, trouble, soil, and shovel. Nice Macbeth reference there. My third eye knows your useless infos. The number of dig piles you've dug is seven. The amount of gold you've collected is 5,985. The number of times you've fallen into battle is one. The total time you've spent adventuring is 14 minutes, 39 seconds. I magically see all of your acts. Come back again for more useless fact, useless, useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. Nice light-hearted uh, dialogue in the village. Before I talk to this guy, because he's brilliant. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trupal King. The king of fruit and fish. Long may his stem grow. You've never heard of the Trupal King? Half trout and half apple, pronounced like mouthful. Troubal. Stupid ass. He's one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Trubal King will appear. Trubal. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trubal chalices to believers. Would you like one? Uh, so these are basically, um, potions. Uh, there's three different types of potions which uh, will d be displayed when I get there. This is Chester. Psst, hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the mu merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Uh, fishing rod. In certain uh, spots in levels, there will be like a sparkly, sparkly place in pits. And if you use a fishing rod there, you could get, uh, get some money. Uh, Chaos Sphere is a magical item, basically does, does damage. Uh, don't really need this right now. This guy's great. Let's just talk to him for a few minutes. Hey Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. Get it? Because... Shovel? <laughs> Psh, that King Knight. You give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler. Ha 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 ha! I traveled with some horse adventurers, but they're all so negative. <laughs> some people hate puns. I love them. I was afraid as I jumped over the bottomless pit, but then I got over it. I wondered why the Black Knight's shovel was getting bigger. Then it hit me. I'm sure your quest will pay off in spades, hero. Ha 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 ha. The Goatician? He may feast on valuable meal tickets, but overall he is not a bad fellow. To any of you who are dying internally right now, I'm sorry. Super skeletons are way too serious. They can't take a little humorous ribbing. <laughs> the Bard performs on the street because when he's inside he can't conduct himself. Have I told you about the broken sword? Eh, never mind, it's pointless. Plague Knight tried to tell me a joke, but it was too formulaic. He failed to get any reaction. That'll make sense a bit later, because he's a he's a sciencey dude. I talked with Mona the other day. Bad attitude, breaking beakers everywhere. Such a vile woman. Have you talked to the juice maid? I tried to squeeze her for information. <clears throat> but I'm not sure she had anything pulpy to extract. My efforts were totally fruitless. That's just loaded with puns. Absolutely loaded. I applied to be a Troubal acolyte, but they said my application looked fishy, so they hired me. Using a shovel as a weapon. What a groundbreaking idea. I want to thank whoever wrote this, if you're watching this right now, and the chances are pretty low. But 
I applaud you. Arrow signs are all the rage in the village these days, but I think they're on their way out. I forgot what Reese was using as a weapon, but then it came back to me. That'll make sense later as well. Hopefully I'll find him and fight him. Propeller Knight can fly around using a bladed propeller helmet. Now that is cutting edge. You visited the nightclub down in the mines yet? A swing and abyss. How about the new hotel on the Iron Whale? I found their room substandard and the place was a wreck. A couple more, I promise. The Baz is a master of the rope whip. Natural talent, or was he taught? Thanks for listening to all my great jokes. I'd ask for a tip, but a well-told pun is its own re reward. <laughs> and that's an achievement, believe it or not. That is a thing. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Sorry. Secret area here, where Mona presides. Sigh. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here. Shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need a hundred gold first. Alright, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them toward the targets for points, okay? There's a fun little- oh god. A fun little mini game you can play. Nice, ten points. Nice way to pass the time. Can't miss the multi, uh, multi ones. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, eh. Yawn. I'm getting achievement after achievement. To be fair, my first playthrough was a bit bare bones. I just did the, uh, did the stages and then boss and then went on my way. There is an achievement for bouncing on this kid's hoop for five seconds. Five seconds is a surprisingly long time. Like, you'd think I'd get it. Easily, but this is actually. Oh my god. Damn it. Ah. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. <laughs> wow, incredible! You really are a Shovel Knight! Now, you wouldn't think it, but you can actually get on that woman's um, thing and get this music sheet. I never knew this until now. I'm gonna go back to the bard and uh, deliver this for another 500 gold. Whoa, you have two music. What the hell, really? Oh, yeah, from Mona. Pastoral. I sup. <laughs> Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime, just ask. Main theme, steal by shovel, one faithful light, disciples blow, pastoral. Rival, strike the earth. Yeah, there's a total of 46 music sheets, and you can basically access the entire soundtrack in-game if you find them all. I'm the fastest! No one can outrun me! Yeah? Really? Yeah? Excuse me, but I'm trained in shovel warfare. I've dug 300 confirmed piles of dirt. Shovel Knights, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. 
Time to go. Now we can either do King Knight or Spectre Knight. I'm gonna do King Knight first because he's closest. I believe if you go to the left here. Oh, yes, there's a secret area. Don't destroy that in case. Oh, okay, made it. Music sheet! And you would think these things would attack you, but... Nope. This is actually the challenging bit. There we go, got him. Don't know why I'm worried. Always gotta keep an eye out for those, uh, secret areas. And try not to be killed by these beetles. Mr. J. Kaufman is uh, a brilliant composer. The soundtrack just sticks in your head. These are basically Joust or Kamikazes. Just jump and avoid them unless you want to kill them for the, the, uh, the gold. Okay, that was not smart. Oh, okay. Those, uh, these fl- uh, I just got the flying rats joke. Yeah, these these guys can be pretty annoying if, um, if you're not patient. Like me, I'm not patient. Wait for him to come down to the level. Yes, there we go. One down. Uh, there we go. Two down. I believe you can reflect these projectiles. Yep. Come at me, wizard. Haha. <laughs> ah, I see a secret area. Always watch out for those weird markings. Now, let's hope I don't die in the next section because I'm gonna just demonstrate this. You get a, a good amount of money to break the checkpoints, but you can't return to them if you die. Food! Oh, this guy's annoying. He can block from the top so you can't down thrust him. You can only attack him when he's attacking. Okay. Or catch him off guard. Ugh. Ah! Oh my god. There we go, got him. Hunter Gold is not bad. Okay. Alright. Oh, I could have jumped on one of them to get the. Alright, yep. Doesn't matter, I can just go back. Or, you know, too late. <laughs> Thank god I got the check. Okay, that's. Call me blind and deaf. And that's a good haul. This area is pretty cool. Uh, it's also very dangerous. So if you go here and press up, you get transported into this room. Where there's a mysterious blue chest. And who else could be hiding there but Chester? In the village or out of the, in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? First magic item, boom, thousand gold, done. This is basically a uh, magic attack, shoots fireballs, pretty basic. The default uh, um, binding for magic is uh, up and X, but I like to bind it to the right trigger just for convenience sake. I swear to god I'm gonna die here. I bet you all ten dollars I'm gonna, okay, I win, I win ten dollars.
Need this health. Need this health. Thank you. Alright. Wait, I have fireballs of my own. Wrecked. To the left here. Hopefully something worthwhile. Oh, it's just the uh, progression of the level. Oh! Can't forget that one gold. It's very important. Can't get 100% without that one piece of gold. Oh, crap, there's a secret area there. Uh, I got him. <laughs> I love that. You don't even, you don't really know if that's the end of the secret area. Video games, man. Okay, gotta be careful here. And I got him. <laughs> oh, this guy is pretty annoying. Uh. I think the strategy is to stay here until he does that, and then just hit him. I have no magic left. That's that's good. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. <laughs> that's the laziest claw attack ever. His demeanor is basically, I never asked for this. Why am I here? At least he gave a turkey though, so that's good. Checkpoint. I think mm, There we go. Got that one. Boop, 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 boop. Aww. Oh. You can't get up uh, in this area without doing that uh, downward thrust and getting all the pigeons. It's invisible floor. And yes, there is an invisible floor. Let's see if I can do this. Probably can't, but the guy can try. Okay. Mm. Could have just jumped up there. And there we go. Chest. Yeah, baby. I'm getting more gold than I've ever gotten in my first playthrough. <laughs> Mostly because I died, like, a lot. You wouldn't believe how much I died. I think the total was like 236. Some of the stages are just... Just, uh, extremely tough. For me, at least. I'm sure experienced gamers have no trouble with it because they're used to playing NES games and the unfairness of them. I shouldn't say unfairness, challenge. This is plenty challenging, believe me. Uh, let's see if I can time this right. Yeah, there we go. I'm the best. Crap. <laughs> is that a secret area? Doesn't have the. Okay, this is a secret area though. Okay, awesome. I'm just gonna ignore this guy. Because who needs him? Jeez. <clears throat> Secret area. <laughs> ah! That didn't happen. I'm gonna try that again because wait a minute. Okay, I already. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do I attempt to get my money back? Yes, I do. Didn't even have to question it. Got him. <laughs> Love that sound effect. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, I, th I thought I handled that well. I died like three times in my first playthrough. <laughs> on that one bit alone. Uh, second Griffin now. Nope. You ain't blasting me today. There we go. Easy peasy. We get a free turkey too. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more in an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the best insult I've ever heard in my life. Decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! This fight is pretty easy. I know that... I know um, my opinion is undermined by my lack of skill, but this guy has three moves. He jumps around like that, he dashes, and he throws confetti. Granted, it's deadly confetti, but, you know, it's, it's, it's confetti. Easy. <laughs> Fifteen hundred gold. That's sad. Uh, oh my god. I dreamed of having eight thousand gold on my first playthrough. You would not believe it. These uh, transitions and background effects are extremely NES. <laughs> to wake Shovel Knight up, you just have to jump. If you press the D-pad, he just shakes in his sleep. And that's King Knight done. Okay, there's a dude there. Oh well, might as well. That's uh, very clearly inspired by the random encounters in Super Mario Bros. 3. The map is also very Super Mario Brothers 3 esque. Ooh, dive bombing birds. They're the worst, actually. Okay. Let's take it easy, buddy. Mm. Iframes, thanks. Stop! Stop! Ah! Alright, I evaded that. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> now I can go into the village. Thank god. Oh, another two music sheets. The Decadent Dandy! <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many revisions King Knight demanded. He's what we call a nightmare client. Now that I have this music sheet, blah 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 blah. I believe there was an individual that requested King Knight's elimination. Another meal ticket, because why not? I, I'm loaded. Need that health. Thanks, buddy! Should probably buy some magic too. Excellent. Can I buy more? Uh, 2200. Why not? I feel like spamming magic this playthrough. King Knight re reigns no more? Huzzah! Now I can rule pride more. Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky. They probably can't wait to see me. 
Excellent. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, Forty minutes in. Um, I think it's safe to say that's a good uh, first part. Thank you for watching. This has uh, been Shovel Knight. It's available for $15 on the PC, 3DS, Wii U, PS3, PS4, Vita, and Xbox One. The soundtrack is also available on Steam and on Jake Kaufman's Bandcamp page, which I will link in the description. Because honestly, this music is worth money. And I don't say that because I'm a pirate. This, uh, this is developed by Yacht Club Games, a small indie studio. Inspired by uh, 8-bit NES games, Mega Man, Castlevania, the like. And if you're interested in this, please pick it up. It is amazing. I know I've only played seven and a half hours, but it's it's been the best seven and a half hours in the recent past. So, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next part. Goodbye.